Hey guys, the Pole Father here. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing my four separate CGC submissions we're gonna be doing. One of the biggest discussions today in the trading card market is CGC and PSA and Beckett. In this video, we're gonna be doing four separate CGC submissions just to see where they're at, if they're grading easier or if they're still just grading the exactly the same and people are just being very picky what they send in. So the four submissions that I have here are as the following. I got three PSA 9 first editions here. I have a first edition Gyarados, first edition Polyrath, and the first edition Chansey. I'm from looking at these cards closely, the CGC, uh, I'm sorry, the PSA 9 Chansey and the PSA 9 Polyrath have the best chance crossing over. And the Gyarados is a true toss up because and actually, this is probably one of the best cards to submit to see where things are truly at because on the back here, we have a little white surface mark, so tiny right here. And also we have a little, just a little tiny corner edge you wear here. But other than that, this will be our first submission. Our second submission is four cards that I actually pulled at Miami TCG Con. At Miami TCG Con, I didn't pull a single, or I didn't sell a single card. And I decided to test my luck and I purchased two heavy fossil packs from one vendor and the other two vendors I purchased were complete random packs and happened to get really lucky on them. But these three cards are absolutely flawless. No edge wear, no surface wear, which is great. Uh, centering is great on these. Um, in my eyes, in a perfect world, these would get PSA 10s hands down. I'm very confident with that. The dark hypno, the centering is a little off, uh, more than enough to comfortably say PSA 9 for sure, but I really do want to submit this card to CGC to see where it would possibly fit amongst these other cards that I believe that'll do really well. The next submission I'm going to be doing with CGC is I'm actually going to take this card, I'm going to crack it, I'm going to resubmit it with no subgrades. I purchased this card pre COVID, right when CGC was grading cards and started doing it in a large volume where everyone was just doing. Um, subgrades and everything this card is nearly pack fresh the back take a look at it and you can just tell the centering is off even on the front you can tell the centering is off and right here it has the traditional uh neo genesis surface wear on the lugia very similar to the t17 typhlosion so we're gonna be cracking this one raw and then we're gonna send it back in with no subgrades to see if we can get this thing upgraded to a nine. I think it's a true toss up, but I think it's a great experiment to test where CGC's at and how what's changed, if anything has changed. And then lastly, this submission, what I'm gonna do with this uh, first edition CGC eight Alkazam is I'm actually going to submit this card back in without cracking it. I'm gonna see if I can get another evaluation on it and see if I can get a potential upgrade to this card or not. The centering on this, I 100% agree. It is off as 8.5. Corners, I agree. Edges, 8.5, I agree as well. The only thing I would say with this card is the surface is 7.5. I really think that this card can truly get an 8 there, which would upgrade this card to an 8.5. So I'm really excited to be doing this submission because it is actually um, one of my very first videos on YouTube doing this. and. I'm excited because, you know, for hours I've spent, you know, PSA versus CGC, CGC versus Beckett, Beckett versus PSA, CGC versus PSA, where things are at. PSA is grading harder. CGC is grading easier. Is that true? So with this submission, it'll really kind of give me clarity on where things are at with CGC. So till next time, guys, I'll submit these here shortly. And I'm the poll father. And remember, guys, it only takes one. Take care, guys. Have a great, great rest of the weekend. Take care.